Hello, data folks. Thanks for joining me again on our channel for data and IT professionals. We've been exploring a lot of data technologies that are widely used by companies around the world. Along those lines, today we're diving into Fivetran. We'll explore what Fivetran is, why it's become so popular, and we'll also give you an end-to-end -end demo so that you get the complete picture. All right, let's jump straight into it. Fivetran is a powerful cloud-based data movement platform that automates the extraction and loading of data between a wide range of sources and destinations. Which brings us to the next big question. With so many products already in this space, what makes Fivetran stand out? And why is it so popular? Well, there are quite a few reasons. Fivetran supports a wide range of data sources and destinations. It offers connectors for 700 plus sources, the highest among its rivals, and this number keeps growing. Next, Fivetran fully supports modern extract load and transform architecture, and it brings all the advantages of Yelty to life. Let's dive a little deeper into this. In traditional ETL, data is first extracted from the source, then all required transformations are applied, and finally, the transform tables are loaded into the data warehouse. This approach was more relevant in the past, when storage and computing were expensive, so companies preferred to process and store only the data required for their regular reporting and analytics. But with the rise of cloud computing, there has been a drastic reduction in storage and compute costs. This shift has made Yelty the standard for modern data platforms. In Yelty, data is extracted from the source and loaded directly into the warehouse first, and transformations happen later right inside the warehouse itself. This approach brings several advantages. First, it simplifies data integration between systems. Loading is completely decoupled from transformations, so building and maintaining data pipelines is much easier. Pipelines are less likely to fail, and even if a transformation fails, the loading part can continue running without interruptions. Next, SQL-based transformations. You no longer need drag and drop interfaces or complex coding in Python. Analysts can write transformations directly in SQL, the language they're already familiar with. This shifts data transformation from being IT or engineer-centric to something analysts can directly handle, giving them the freedom to generate insights quickly and make data-driven decisions. Another big benefit is that source data is always available. The raw data from the source is stored in the warehouse before transformation. This provides a complete end-to-end -end data lineage and an auditable source of truth. Finally, Yelty offers a lot of flexibility and eliminates the need to re-extract data from source systems. For instance, if a transformation changes or if the same source data is needed for another new requirement, the data is already available in the warehouse and ready to use. Analysts can build queries immediately without setting up new pipelines. This saves time, cuts costs, and allows teams to explore data freely. Fivetran stands out with its lightning-fast data movement. Wherever possible, it only extracts and loads data that has changed since the last update, instead of processing the entire data set every time. Large tables are automatically split into parallel threads for faster processing. Fivetran automatically normalizes or flattens nested data like JSON objects or API responses into relational tables before loading them into the destination. This allows you to query them directly in SQL. It also standardizes table and column names, handles missing or null values, and maps data types to match your target database, all without any extra coding. Another clever design choice in Fivetran is its use of idempotence in data pipelines. What this means is that, even if a pipeline fails and needs to be run again, the end result will always be clean and consistent. No matter how many times the pipeline is retried, Fivetran ensures no duplicates and no corrupted records. Fivetran can also automatically handle schema changes in your source systems. As source applications evolve, their columns, tables, or data types can change. When that happens, Fivetran can automatically adjust your extract and load pipelines, ensuring everything runs smoothly without any failures. Fivetran also offers history mode, which keeps track of all changes in your source data. 
It retains both the current and previous versions of every record in a source table, with start and end timestamps for each version. This gives you a full history of how your data has changed over time, something similar to SCD Type 2 tables. Finally, Fivetran also stands out for its enterprise-grade security features. Data is encrypted end-to-end, -end, from the source system to Fivetran, and from Fivetran to the destination. It also offers flexible deployment and secure networking options, along with compliance certifications to meet strict regulatory requirements. All right, it's time to see Fivetran in action. If you don't have a Fivetran account, you can create one right away. And the best part is, no credit card is required. When you sign up, you get a 14-day trial of the enterprise plan. After that, you can switch to the free standard plan. The free plan has no time limits. You can use it forever. However, it does have some usage limits, 500,000 active rows and 5,000 model runs per month, but that's more than enough for learning, and it can even meet the needs of some small companies. The sign-up process is pretty straightforward. You just fill in your details, or you can use your existing Google or Microsoft account. These selections are not critical, so just skip them or pick whatever works for you. Your account setup is complete. From here, you could start configuring your sources and destinations. But for this demo, I want to walk you through the full Fivetran user interface and create a source and destination from there. Just open a new browser tab, go to Fivetran.com and log in with your credentials. And here it is, the Fivetran UI, ready for us to explore. Connections, destinations, and transformations are the three main tabs in the Fivetran UI. The Connections tab is where we define our source systems. Typically, one connection is created for each database or for each folder in a file storage system. The Destinations tab is where you configure your target system or data warehouse. You can define multiple destinations and decide which connection loads data to which destination. Finally, the Transformations tab. Even though Fivetran primarily handles the extract and load part of Yelty, it works seamlessly with powerful transformation tools like dbt. This allows data teams to configure efficient data transformations right inside the Fivetran UI. For this demo, I'm going to set up a simple data pipeline that loads data from a Postgres database into a Snowflake data warehouse. If you want to follow along, please make sure you have these accounts ready. They're all free and don't require credit card details. I've also shared a GitHub repo link in the video description. You can use it to set up production-like source tables in your PostgreSQL database and practice these steps along with me. Now, let's build our first data pipeline together. I always prefer to create the destination first. This makes it easier to select the right destination when setting up the connection. Let's not worry about this existing warehouse. It's just an empty placeholder. Once we configure the Snowflake warehouse, this can be deleted. Right over here, select Add Destination. Fivetran supports all major data platforms and cloud storage locations as destinations. Look for the target system you want to configure, Snowflake in my case. Enter a name you like. The exact configurations will vary depending on the destination you select, but you'll see a complete guide on the right-hand side. In real-world projects, companies usually set up a separate Snowflake user and warehouse for Fivetran. The instructions are available here, but for this demo, I'm using my own account that has required permissions. Fill in the account details. You can get these from your Snowflake UI, just like I do. During the first run, Fivetran will automatically create the target schema and tables, but the database you configure must already exist in Snowflake. If it doesn't, make sure to create it first. You can choose any cloud provider you prefer. Once all the required details are filled in, click Save and Test. 
The connectivity test is passed, and the destination has been successfully created. Next, let's set up the PostgreSQL source. Go to the Connections tab and click Add Connection. As we discussed earlier, Fivetran supports 700 plus connectors. You can use the search bar to find the connection you want to add. I'm going to set up Postgres. Let's select the Snowflake destination we've just set up. For every connection, you'll be asked to enter a schema prefix. Think of it as a label added in front of your source schema name when the schema is loaded into the destination. For example, if your source schema name is ABC and your prefix is demo, the target schema will be named as demo underscore ABC. The other parameters that you need to fill may vary depending on your source, but you'll see a complete guide on the right-hand side of the screen. Fill in the details for your source system. This is a very important step because it determines how change data capture or CDC will work. After the initial load, we don't want to reprocess the entire table every time we resync. For efficient CDC, you need to complete three steps in Postgres. Enable logical replication, create a replication slot, and create a publication. I'll not go too deep into the technical details, but at a high level, the replication slot keeps track of data changes since the last sync, such as inserts, updates, or deletes. And the publication defines which tables are tracked for these changes. These commands are already included in the link I've provided in the description. Back in the Fivetran UI, enter the replication slot and publication names that you created in Postgres. Once all the details are filled in, click Save and Test. We can ignore this warning for now and click Continue. Fivetran will now fetch the metadata from your source database, including schemas, tables, and column details. Once you are on this screen, you can choose which tables you want to load into your destination. Simply use the checkboxes to select or deselect tables as needed. You can also control which columns to include or exclude. If you want, you can filter rows based on conditions, for example, only load orders that were processed in the last year. Additionally, you can choose to hash certain sensitive columns, like credit card numbers or social security numbers. Once everything is set up, click Save and Continue. This next step configures how the pipeline should handle any schema changes in the source system in the future. For this demo, I'll select Allow All. And that's it. We've successfully set up our first data pipeline. The first sync needs to be started manually. This ensures the pipeline doesn't start until you're ready to kick it off. But after that initial sync, Fivetran takes over and keeps everything in sync automatically, no further manual intervention needed. The default sync frequency is every six hours, but you can go to settings and change it as per your requirement. Let's go ahead and start the initial sync. The first load will always be a full load, so depending on the size of your tables, it may take some time. Please be patient. And there we go. The sync has completed successfully. Now let's head over to the Snowflake target and take a look at the results. All the tables we chose in the Fivetran connection are now available in the data warehouse under the database and schema prefix we configured. You can now run queries on these tables as needed. Everything looks perfect. Pipeline setup is a one-time activity and once it's up and running, you can forget about it because Fivetran works behind the scenes and automatically keeps the source and target in sync. That's all for today. In our next video, we'll dive deeper and show you how to configure transformations using DBT. 
If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button to stay up to date with our latest content. Thanks for watching.